what's up guys i am back with another bible verse study video for you guys now i bet you all were probably wondering why i hadn't done one in a while but you weren't wondering why not all jokes aside i'm glad to be back finished up with my surgery man haven't officially been cleared by the doctor but through the grace of god and to the angels he surrounded me with i'm doing better my throat's feeling better my tonsils are gone so i can actually breathe like a normal human being and we got to get into it man because god's word does not stop and in the world that we live in guys it is extraordinarily important that we share the word of god because no matter what the devil isn't stopping so we can either having said that in today's bible verse we're going to be reading from the book of john chapter 11 verse 26 okay and whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die do you believe this so as you guys can see here when it's old english i translate it to new english as best i can no matter how you translate it it doesn't change um, it doesn't change the meaning, it doesn't change the syntax, it doesn't change any of that. So, believest thou this is not something that we're, we're not used to speaking that way, okay? We're just not. And I'm not going to contribute to the thing that nobody understands. Now, when we talk about that, we have to understand that there's an inspiration. And that's why I love this app so much, guys. That's why I love sharing the Word of God through this app with you guys because they put it together. It's very cheap. It's a King James Bible app on Android. I use my Android tablet to share it with you guys. It's only 99 cents a month. I mean, think about all of the stuff that we buy. Subscribe to on a monthly basis. If we can't subscribe to a Bible app for 99 cents a month, then what are we doing here, guys? Okay, what are we doing? So, for the inspiration, here we go. He who lives and believes in Jesus shall never die. Physically, that could mean that we only sleep, so to speak, until the resurrection. But spiritually, it would refer to the fact that that those whom God has given spiritual life in, Christ can never lose it. Now, having said that, guys, what does that mean? You're going to die physically. There is no getting around it. Jesus Christ died physically. Had he lived to be an elderly man, no one knows how it would have turned out. He probably would have just ascended back to heaven. Only God knows. It doesn't matter because that's not how he laid out the timeline for us. Jesus Christ's fate was known to God from the beginning. His sacrifice had to be made so that God can adopt us back into his presence. Otherwise, we would have all been doomed. Now, yes, we are going to die physically, but those who are saved in Christ and accept the free gift of Jesus Christ will not die spiritually. Does that mean that a soul can die? Well, it gets a little bit hairy, but here's the thing, guys. When you read the scripture, Jesus talks about what happens to a soul that is separated from God forever. And that's not something that I want for anyone, okay? I actually just recently took some backlash on LinkedIn a couple of days ago because people didn't like the fact that there was a murderer who had been killed in jail. And he was killed in jail because someone had decided that they were going to kill him because he was there for killing a toddler. Now, that's a terrible, horrible thing. Um, and my heart bleeds for the baby that the individual killed. Um, and my comment was to the effect of, well, I pray that he found Christ before he was killed because before I found Christ, I would have been happy to hear something like that. Now, thinking about someone's soul being separated from God, where they'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth for all eternity, not something that I'm happy about, regardless of what he did in life. Oh man, the slew of comments that I got was insane about, you know, what does it matter? What do you care? Do you want to share heaven with people who do stuff like that? And my response was, it doesn't matter what I think. It doesn't matter what my judgment is. It doesn't matter what I feel about what he did because he falls just as short of the glory of God as I do. And I think that that's a problem with human beings, myself included, that we get caught up in in judging people so much for doing things that we'd never done but what the heck makes you any better that's okay if you didn't like what i said but if it's up to me i'm gonna go ahead and try to not contribute to the bad thing that jesus christ doesn't want having said that we're gonna move into the prayer if you want to pray with me please pray with me if not that's fine too i'll pray for you your family your friends your health and your safety but most of all guys and we all read this prayer we all accept the free gift of salvation and we all understand that we all fall short all every single one of us of the glory of god all right here we go. You, Lord, are the one who will raise my moral bo my mortal body or rapture and change on the day of Christ. You, Lord, also are the one who has raised my sin-dead soul to spiritual life and will never let it die again. I praise you that I am eternally secure, being kept by the power of God unto salvation. In Jesus' name we pray, guys. Amen. Guys, I am extraordinarily happy to be back with you guys. I'm extraordinarily happy to share the word of God with you guys, and I do so because it is more important. It is more important than streaming games. It is more important than streaming YouTube shorts of cool things that I've done in Apex Legends or Valorant or anything else, because guess what? When it comes down to it, at the end of the day, I don't want my spirit to be separated from God, guys. It is important for us to understand that we need to share the word with one another. 
Not because God said you have to. Not because he says you better. But because he says I died for you. I don't do this and I don't do my ministry and the things that I do because I feel like I'm contributing to the sacrifice that Jesus Christ made. That is spiritually impossible. I'm doing it because I am grateful for the sacrifice that Jesus Christ made for me, for you, and for everyone else. Having said that, guys, thank you all so much. I appreciate every single one of you being here. Please reach out to me. Connect with me on social media. We can talk about God. We can talk about all of the horrible, terrible, anti-Christ-like things that are happening in the world now because there is no shortage of it. But it is up to you and me to continue to fight it. And we are winning and we will continue to win because no matter what, when God stands with you, who can stand against you? Be safe, be good, and be blessed. And I'm going to see you guys when I see you. Peace!